Hey guys, this is John. Um, we're going to talk about CO2 versus HPA versus propane. We're going to start, talk about CO2 first. Um, first of all, CO2 is um, it's basically heat related. The hotter it is, the more pressure it is, and etc. etc. Um, what they do is fill the rest of it with CO liquid, and that's it. And later on in the day, once it gets to room temperature, it fills up with gas again. Um, and yeah, um, you don't know how to tell if there's how much air is in there, um, how full it is, and all that stuff. Um, also, it's very unreliable, it's not really consistent. So, this is probably the best use if you use it. Only this is a great tank for the beginner because it's cheap and then you can find it anywhere. But the only purpose it can take is probably a blowback, and that's it. Um, I would not suggest you take it over 8 BPS with the pro with the CO2 tank just because it gets fr it freezes your gun. So that's about it for CO2 and um let's talk about okay, HPA. We're going to talk about HPA now. HPA is great. Um there's two types. Um a 4500 psi and 3000 3000 psi. Most of the time, 3000 psi are steelies, and 4500 psi are um, carbon fiber wrapped. Um, again, there's a regulator on here. Some regulators are low output, and some regulators are high output. High output are 850 psi that comes out um, every single time, and low pressure is 450 psi that comes out every time. Um, again, there's a, a PSI reading here, you can tell what you're, how much you're reading at, uh, fill nipple in the tank itself. This thing is really strong, um, it's wrapped, it's made out of um, aluminum and then wrapped in carbon fiber and um, covered in epoxy glue, so it's like really strong. Um, this, overall, this is a very great tank, it works great, gets a lot of shots, very consistent, very reliable, but the only bad thing is that this tank is really expensive. This I can probably like buy ten of these over this, but I would do choose this anytime just because it is great and it's just the best. Um, and also you get a lot of shots out of it. Also you can find air anywhere. Um, go to Scuba Gear place; they can fill you up. Just whatever. Um, this is great. All right, let's talk about propane next. So. so John, um, we're going to talk about propane. I don't have a propane tank, but propane tank, I'm just going to explain it, how it works. Um, only propane tank, no propane done I found was like tip and see something, but that's about it. Um, what propane tank does, like a propane gun, it doesn't shoot propane out, okay, which would be really dangerous. What it does, has a compression in there that compresses propane, so it has a huge explosion in there, and that explosion fires a paintball. So it it won't light anything in the end, just because it already it's it's dead propane that's coming out of the front barrel. So it's already been exploded. It's done. You can't use it instead. Um, and once you go over 8 BPS, that's why it's a pump. Once you go over 8 BPS. That gun's gonna get way too hot, and like way too hot, and it's probably gonna probably explode. So it's really not recommended. Propane has a lot of shots. I mean, you can probably get like fifty thousand shots off of one tank. Um, it's a lot of shots, but the only problem is is that it's not really like accurate. And, um, it's kind of the same thing as CO two, but has more shots. But yeah. Um, so propane is not the thing to go with, I would rather go with a regular gun with a regular HPA tank. So, yeah. And thanks for watching, and this is John on CO2 versus HPA versus, um, propane. Thanks.